All right, everybody. So welcome. It is Thursday, May 2nd. Um, Team Constellation online training and uh, who wants to grow your business and who likes to party? <laughs> so let's get this show on the road. All right, so what we're gonna talk about tonight is Facebook parties. And I found this cute little slide and guess where I found that? I found that on Google. So um, shows over there what you need for a Facebook party is some comfy clothes, your computer or device, um, and a tasty beverage. Normally I would enjoy a glass of wine, but since I am talking to you wonderful people tonight, I'm just drinking water. Um, but everybody else can enjoy whatever beverage you prefer. Um, so. You all know Avon is not historically a party business. We're not a party plan company. So why are we talking about Facebook parties? So this is a really great way to expand your circle. Um, you can set up and manage these parties from anywhere because they're all online. You don't need any inventory or books for this. Um, it's gonna help you build sales, get new teammates, and can help you even get some new customers. And these are all things that we need to grow our business. I got, I got heavy handed there. So here's some simple steps to a successful Facebook party. And we're gonna elaborate on this, but this is kind of how the flow is gonna go for the evening. So we're gonna talk about getting a hostess, doing your, uh, setting up your event, setting up your posts, uh, managing the party, and then following up at the end, because we all know the fortune is in the follow-up, right? Oh my goodness. All right, so let's elaborate a little bit more on the first thing there, which was the hostess. So you can certainly launch a party for yourself, especially when you first start your business, um, or even let's say you've had a little bit of lull in your business, but you're ready to get back in the swing of things. Um, so you can even do an online relaunch for yourself. And that's just to kind of create a little bit of excitement for your customers and your friends, because like I said, maybe, maybe life happened and you hadn't been very consistent and you haven't been doing all of your things and that's okay, but now you're ready to get back going but uh, maybe because you haven't been selling or you haven't been managing your side gig very much you don't have a lot of extra so you don't want to have to invest in a lot of books and stuff so an online party would be a really great way to handle that um, also if you're new they give you very limited business supplies at the beginning so if this is another great way for you to leverage our online store our online brochures um, and create some excitement around your new business and uh, get some customers and get some folks in there looking at what all Avon has to offer now now outside of that um, preferably um, once you've done one or two of those things you certainly do want to branch out and find a hostess or two or three or ten um, to host parties for you because that's how you're gonna expand your circle okay so you may already have a little customer base I already have a nice little customer base um, and I keep pretty busy as you guys know so this is a really great way for me to find some new customers while I'm incentivizing my existing customers or friends um, we're going to talk a little bit about the guidelines uh, that I put in the packet for my hostess, the rewards that I offer and give you some ideas on things that you can do. And when you talk to them about the guidelines, you want to um, talk to the hostess about how to handle the invites. Um, and we also are going to talk to the hostess about how she needs to be involved in the engagement. That's super important since she is your hostess. Um, if you are launching one for yourself, um, you might want to reach out to a couple of good friends or customers. Um, I have a couple of people on the team that I have uh, come in and post a few things for me sometimes on my parties if they're getting a little quiet. Um, and that's certainly fine. And I'm happy to be that guy for you. You guys know I love Facebook, so I might as well do something productive while I'm on there. Um, but if you have a hostess, you need to let her help you with that. So let's talk about what I just um, told you guys. This is an example of my letter that I give them. I say packet, but honestly, I never have done like a real big packet. It's a sheet, it's one sheet. Um, this is a PDF that I send them. Um, and I, 
I say just this one thing because less is more. Keep it simple. You want this to be easy and fun for them. Um, you do want to offer some discounts, but they need a minimum to get there. Uh, because if you just tell them, oh, I'm just going to give you 10% off because you're doing this party, that's not going to be beneficial because then she's not going to work with you to push to get that party to a certain dollar amount. And that's the whole point of this is to really boost your sales while incentivizing a customer or friend and letting everybody have a fun time. Um, offer prizes, but keep them small and simple. And I say that because we are not a party plan business, as I said before. So we don't have any kind of programs built in for hostess reward packages. Um, you know, if you've ever been to another party plan business, I'm not going to name any on here. I have a favorite one that does kitchen stuff, but um, they have it where there's a link set up and the the company offers all of these discounts and things and then like half off of this. And if you buy three of these, then you get this. Um, so if we do not have all of those things, so anything that you offer for a Facebook party is going to be coming out of your earnings. So I usually do like a glimmer stick or a lip glow um, just for agreeing to do the party. Um, they don't get it until after we've done the party because anybody can say, I'll do a Facebook party and then blow you off forever. Um, not on purpose. Most people have good intentions, but they'll be busy and they say they just don't have time to deal with it and they don't want to commit to it because they know they can't be involved, whatever. So we don't actually give any of the prizes until after the party has closed. Um, but you go ahead and discuss with them what it is you want to offer. Um, you know, I've even said like a hand cream before, if that's something they want. But you got to also keep in mind how local is your hostess to you? Uh, because if she's not local, you don't want to be having to mail a hand cream or something like that because it's going to cost a lot of money to drop that in the mail. Um, so glimmer sticks are great. Um, lip glows, you know, they're a little bit more big and bulkier. But if you get... Um, USPS has like the, if it fits, it ships envelopes and stuff. And it's like a flat rate. So those are good. And those are what I prefer. And you can get those boxes and the envelopes from the post office for free. You just grab them if you go in there to get stamps and you can print your shipping label at home and pop that sucker right in your mailbox. Yes, you can. So, um, keep all that stuff small. And I also offer, um, Specials to the hostess after the fact, like if somebody books another party off of her party, then the hostess does get a little extra gift for that. Um, and if somebody signs up on my team from her party, I'll also throw her a little gift for that as well. But again, all of my gifts are kind of small, but they're still fun and they're things that people like and enjoy. Um, and I send this in a PDF. So if you make up a cute little letter for yourself, I save it in a PDF so that I can send it to them and they can't make any changes to it. Um, I can also send it in messenger because let's be real. A lot of people don't look at emails anymore. That's a sad fact. I check my emails constantly, but a lot of folks don't. Um, and so if you are, and if you're doing a Facebook party, they probably have messenger and they're going to be on Facebook anyway. And so they'll see their little messenger thing pop up. So if you're already communicating that way with her, then just send it in the messenger and she'll be able to open and see what goodies she'll be eligible for. So this is really important part of this whole thing. Um, and all of this is happening before you've actually set up the party. Just want to be clear about that. So you want to talk to her after you've talked to her about the rewards that she can earn. Um, you want to talk to her about individually messaging her friends and customers and ask them if they're interested in coming to this party. Tell her how blindly adding will result in fewer accepting the invite and it will hurt the algorithm for the whole party. Uh, Facebook has algorithms and if they feel like you're abusing their platform, to, for a financial gain, but you're not paying them money, um, they will push your posts where nobody can see them. Um, even if everybody was excited, um, sometimes Facebook can still push your algorithms down. So there's a lot of things. That's why the interaction on these parties is so super important because if you tell your hostess to make sure she goes and sees something and posts, love it, whatever, it helps push it back up for other people to see. Um, Get her excited about the goodies that she's going to earn and make sure she understands she needs to go in there and interact. Um, love buttons are better than likes. 
you know, the laugh button is really good. Um, any of the little funny faces they can do are good. Um, make sure she's sharing. So if, um, you know, if she has a favorite product, encourage her to take a picture of it and share it in the party if she wants to. But she certainly needs to be interacting on the post that you put up there. Um, remember, this party is all about her. Um, you want her to stay involved as much as possible because that's going to motivate her friends to play along in the stuff and to make purchases. And again, you want a lot of interaction in these, in these pages. So if she starts interacting and encouraging others, then hopefully her friends will also start to chime in. If you're constantly the only person talking, it's going to stay that way. It'll be like crickets. So it's really important that your hostess stays involved. Um, update her as the party goes along of any purchases that are made so that, you know, she might want to message her friend personally and say thank you. Plus, that way she's keeping track of how much she's getting so far. Um, because if she's at the $100 mark, she's going to go on there and she'll start making posts herself to encourage people because she's going to want to get her uh, freebies and stuff. She's going to want her, her free discount, you know. So keep her updated on all that stuff. And that will also keep her excited about the party. Um, and also that minimum is for you, you know, so we want to at least get 150 off of a Facebook party because I mean, that's, that's not a bad day award sales for working on Facebook guys, but she may want more than $15. Um, she might have her eye on something. In fact, it's a really good idea at the beginning uh, when you're talking to her about the, her hostess packet and all of this stuff, ask her if there's any particular products that she's been eyeballing that she hasn't pulled the plug on because maybe she didn't want to spend that much money. Maybe she didn't want to tell her husband why she needed another face cream. Um, so this is a good opportunity because if she tells you that there is something that she's been wanting, you can say, well, you know, if you get the party to this many dollars, this is how much you're going to earn. And you can put all of that towards that. Um, like I don't make them do like, oh, you, you know, you get this and it, but it's, you have to buy this many. Like, I'm like, if you have this size party, you get this much money in a credit from me, um, to use on whatever you want. So as long as they are getting those party sales up, they can use all that money. Um, because again, it ends up what I, the way I do it, it's only 10%. Um, so if you're not president's club, you know, you're anywhere from 20 to 40% with your earnings. And if you're president's club, you're 40%, but you know, you worked hard to get to that 40% fixed earnings. So you don't want to just give it all away, but you do want to incentivize her for, you know, exposing you to her friend group. Um, y'all know how I feel. If they want the money, they need to sign up. Um, so now let's talk a little bit about the event itself. Um, when you're setting this up, I always encourage everybody to make it private. Um, and this is really big in groups too. And I've seen this from so many different entities. I follow a lot of different um, network marketing groups and stuff because I just like to see what everybody else is doing. And one thing that I see consistently is groups need to be private. Some of them even say they should be secret. Um, secret is a little tough because then it's hard to find, but, um, if you keep it closed, like our Facebook group is, um, then people can find it, but they have to be added in. Um, this is going to be protecting your potential new customers or teammates. And it's also going to help everybody feel at ease. Um, think about business pages versus groups that you may be a part of, you know, groups, you see a lot of interaction, you see people posting things that they would never put on their personal profile. Um, you know, they're more willing to share because they feel like it's the secret community or something. But if they're on a business page, I mean, a lot of people don't interact very much. They might like it or share, but you don't see as many comments on business pages as you do in a group. So, um, and that's because a business page is wide open. Everybody can see, you know, once you comment, everybody can see. So if you're a consumer, you may not want to jump in and do that. So definitely try to keep it private. But again, it's your, it's your show. You're the boss. You can do what you want. This is just my suggestion. 
Um, also, you should have a Google form set up. Um, if you don't have a Google account, you can set one up for free. And there is a whole section of apps in there. And you can, there's like spreadsheets in there and all kinds of stuff. So if you don't want to invest in Microsoft Office, Google has an app for that. I pro they have everything that Microsoft Office does. It's a little bit different format, but it's all free. It's all, you know, basically the same stuff. And there is a forms app in Google. So you can set up the, however you want. Um, and that needs to be stressed to each of the guests to fill out as they come in, because that's how you're going to collect their information. Just like if you were doing a table somewhere, or even if you did a home party, you would get them to, you know, write something down and fill it out for you so that you had their contact information. This Google form is your way of getting the contact information um, through Facebook, basically. Also, you want to prepare an introduction for yourself. Um, keep it short, definitely under three minutes. If you can do it in 90 seconds, that's best, but under three minutes is okay, but you don't wanna go any over than that. You're basically just gonna introduce yourself, give your name, tell them how long you've been with Avon, Tell them something fun about yourself. Um, you know, if you have a job or if you like to bake or if you're married with two kids or whatever, um, you know, tell them what you love about Avon and that you're excited to help party with them and earn Suzy Q, lots of fun things. Um, the rest of this should be all about the hostess. So you're just taking that one little snippet of time just so they can see your face and understand who you are. Um, I like to do a video within the event. Some people aren't comfortable with that. I would tell you, if you just do it, eventually you'll feel okay about it. Um, Mama Bird will push you out of the nest if you ask me. I'm just going to tell you to do one. Um, Deb's laughing because we had that conversation a long time ago, and now she's like doing lives all over the place. Like she does more lives than anybody else on the team. So um, they're really not that bad. And like I said, you're going to be posting it in a private group. So it's a really great way to test the waters. If you're not comfortable with that, post a picture of yourself and type out a bio, short, sweet. Again, um, you want them to read it in less than a minute and a half. That's the whole point. So, um, but either way, let them see your face. They want to know who they're doing business with. But then um, go ahead and make a new post about your friend, the hostess. Find a really flattering picture of her posted in the event and say, you know, I know Susie Q from way back when we went to school together, blah, blah, blah. I just love her energy. She's such a great person. How does everybody else know her? And you can even offer a prize. So for the first, you know, 10 people who comment how they know Susie Q, you're going to send them a free sample. And when I say free sample, I mean like a flat sample. So you can send them skincare or fragrance flat sample because you can put one stamp on that and it will go out just fine. And that's another reason why they need to fill out that Google form for you so that you can quickly get their goodies to them. So now let's talk a little bit about setting up the event. So this is what you guys are really all here for, I'm sure. All this other stuff, a lot of you probably already know. But um, to set up the event, I prefer to set up a group. And again, this is, I've been researching this a lot. Um, events and groups are both equally good. Groups are really getting more attention. Um, you get a lot more interaction right now. Facebook is loving groups right now, which means if you set up a group, you might get a little bit more um, visuals to the people that are in there versus an event. Like the people in the event might not see as much as if you set up a group. So I say set up a group. Um, make it a closed group, so keep it private. Um, if you do set up an event, that's okay. I still would set it to private. The only thing about doing a private event versus the group is you will not be able to use Avon Social if you use the event. If you use a group, however, you can use Avon Social, which is a free platform that Avon provides to us with lots of really great interactive posts really wonderful pictures. Some of them are directly related to products and some of them are not. Um, we can also add our own uh, pictures or graphics to Avon Social. Um, and if you go to Avon Social and go to create posts, it'll ask you to add your picture. 
Um, you know, if you have a picture just that you found off the internet, like I said, that first slide I had, I found those off of Google. Um, and then there are plenty of apps out there like Canva and all kinds of apps where you can create your own flyers and stuff. I'm not very fancy with that kind of stuff, guys. I downloaded Canva and played around with it. I've made one that I was kind of proud of. Um, the rest of them, I'm still trying to feel my way around there. But if you have anything like that, you can upload that as well. Um, and once it's uploaded into Avon Social, we can use the scheduling service, okay? Um, and that's important because for, for a couple years, I've been paying a different service, uh, $14.99 a month, which doesn't sound like a lot, but I pay for several services to help me with my business. So anywhere I can cut costs, I want to cut the cost. So I don't have to pay $15 a month anymore for that service because I have Avon Social for free. Thank you, Avon. Um, and that's another reason why the groups are super important. And plus, seriously, the graphics they have, guys, are so much better than anything I could come up with. And they're not all product. There are so many lifestyle things in there. So you can still use some of their stuff and make it fun. So um, you're going to create your Google form that we talked about before. Attach it to the group um, and pin it to the top. Um, and again, I talked to you about setting up the free Google account if you don't have one. Um, but definitely, once you have that, um, I usually type up a little description and I pin the description with the Google form inserted there right to the top of the page and I refer to it constantly. On your Google form, you're going to want to make sure you ask for their name, their email, um, preferably a phone number and address. And then at the bottom, have a separate section and create some questions. So ask them just simple yes or no questions. Do you already have a rep? Um, do you want regular brochures or info from me? Um, do you want to host a party to earn goodies? Or do you want to learn more about becoming a rep? So, and honestly, I will tell you now, and I've told people this that work shows, you're really just trying to collect the information. Even if they put no on some of the stuff, I still ask them at the end because maybe they click the wrong button or maybe they change their mind halfway through the party, but they don't go back and change the form. Um, so once your group is set up, you're going to leave your intro or your bio that we talked about in your Avon journey. You're going to do your post welcoming everybody and ask them how they know the hostess. Then you're going to go in through Avon social. If you're using that platform and set up all the posts for the whole party. Okay. And uh, once you have everything scheduled, then you're going to go add your hostess. And again, remind her one more time, hey, don't forget, this is when we're going to add all the folks. Don't forget to invite them individually, message them first, make sure they want to be here so that they actually come in. Um, and then y'all can get going. So let's talk a little bit about the posts. So we don't want to be spammy, even though they know what they're there for. It's just like, again, a group versus a business page versus your profile. You, um, you know, business page, they kind of know what they're there for. So it's okay to drop some product information on them, but you still don't want to be spammy. But here, definitely, you want to make sure you're talking about Avon, but you don't just want to be like, hey, buy my stuff. So um, you need two or three posts a day. And if you're going to do the three per day, then definitely stick with this rule. So for content, you're gonna do one educational, one fun or a game, um, and one product highlight or your sales post. Um, and even the sales post, you still need to be providing them some sort of value. Don't just pop your link up there and say, hey, it's time to order for the day, guys. Um, so your educational could be something like, did you know that uh, if you don't want uh, take your makeup off before you go to sleep, you're a, you're going to age yourself seven times faster. Okay, so that's educational, and people are going to be like, "Holy shenanigans! I did not know that. No wonder I look this way." Because yes, I sleep with my makeup on. So I'm so bad. I'm getting better. Um, the fun one could be, you know, make up a game about skincare stuff, or you could even do like some sort of bingo. Make yourself. Um, some sort of flyer using little a new jars or something, you know, and just have a game and that way you can do some sort of giveaway with that. Um, and then your product highlight for the day could be 
you know, something from the Anu line and don't just pop the link up there, but talk about the benefits of the Anu line and maybe pop the link for our skincare quiz that's on your online store. Um, everybody loves skincare quizzes, but that will show them which products from the Anu line would be best suited for them based on their answers. So that way you're still getting your product post in there, um, but you're not directly just saying like, hey, buy this stuff, you know? So that's, you know, your educational, your fun, and your product highlight for the day. Um, and you do want to plan those out, um, but you're gonna be doing that when you're setting up all of those posts through Avon Social. Um, engagement, so we're looking for interaction, not orders. And I know that sounds counterproductive since we're trying to get $150 or more in sales. But the more interaction you have, the more people are gonna to wanna to purchase from you. That means they're seeing your post and they're having fun. They're gonna be more interested. They're gonna to wanna to go look at your website and they're gonna to wanna to help their friend. If they're not having a good time and they're not interacting, they don't care. So um, that's why I say, even with your sales posts that you have every day, don't make it super salesy. Just make sure that they're seeing what it is that they can get, but make sure they understand the value of it as well. So don't forget this. You need to post your link to the pinned post as well, even with the Google form. Um, and anytime you do a product post, so your sales post for the day, even if it's not the last post of the day, anytime you're doing a product or sales post, make sure your link is in there so that they can go to it and purchase. You want to make it as easy as possible for them. Um, talk about the company incentives, trips, um, and definitely throw in there at least once, I'd say more than once, but at least once about starting their own Avon business. Um, like for me, you know, I get, I can say like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited about Mexico. Um, you guys, even if you haven't earned the trip, you can totally name drop me and say, my mentor is going to Mexico. She went on a cruise last year. This is bananas. You know, I'm working on the Jamaica trip. How cool would it be if we all went together? Um, and tell them, say, April gets really lonely on these trips and she really wants all of us to come. So why don't we all try to go? Um, and then also like right now they have announced the, the May high five online for customers is if they spend $50, they get free shipping. Plus they get a $10 coupon to shop next month. Okay. So, you know, we're pushing the online sales during these Facebook parties. So the high five online for the customers really ties into this very well. So I would remind them every time you post that link, put a little parentheses. Don't forget if you spend $50, you're going to get a $10 coupon for next month and zero shipping on these orders. What? Um, also share prizes for the games. So if you announce a game, let them know what they're playing for because they want to know. So you could tell them a lipstick. Now, just because you say lipstick, that doesn't mean it's a full size, am I right? And most of us have lipstick bullets, and so um, just be careful how you word it because if you're not prepared to give away full size things, then don't say full size and don't offer things that don't come in samples. Um, and make sure you have these products on hand, ready to go um, for the games. Um, if you are going to offer full-size products, when you message the folks about their winnings, say, great, when I process your order, I'll drop it in there because we're going to talk about how you can do that at the end. Um, be sure to remind everyone that the hostess is trying to earn freebies and it will help her if they place orders. Talk about the hostess at least once a day. So somewhere in the game post or even in the educational post, you need to drop her name and that way it'll tag her um, and people are going to see it and they're going to want to interact with her. Again, you're wonderful. I'm not saying that, but they don't know you. They know her. So we want to talk about her a lot and really build her up to these people and remind them like, hey, you're trying to help your friend here. Make sure you get your orders in. Um, also, be sure to remind them several times to complete the Google form. Again, this is your um, this is your contact sheet. These are your drawing forms like that we would have if we were out in the field. This is how you're going to get their contact information. So you want to make sure that you're reminding them to fill that out. 
um, because that's how you're going to follow up with them later. Um, also, advise them at the beginning, and um, uh, you can do it all throughout if you want to, but at least once or twice, you need to tell them up front, in the pin post especially, and then towards the end, little reminder, all of these orders are online, I won't be doing deliveries for these, and that's because this is an online party, and I'm not local to everybody, so we're going to keep it simple for everybody, and they're all online, and that will also help the hostess in tracking her orders because she can't earn any of her rewards until the orders are paid for. If you do it online, they're paid for right away. I will say, all of that little stuff I said right there, you don't wanna tell them all of that stuff. Remember, keep it short and simple when you're talking to them. You just wanna remind them they need to place their orders online and it's because it's an online party and you're just not able to get all the orders to everybody, so these are online. Um, and again, that's why it's super important that they fill out the Google form because if they place an order on your site and the Google form's not been filled out, then they, those orders can't get counted for their friend because you don't know that's for her. Um, and then towards the end, you want to thank everybody for coming. Um, even if they didn't place an order, you know, make a nice little post. Um, tell everybody thanks so much for participating. Hope everybody had a great time. Um, and that's it. So, but we're not done yet, not near done. So, let's talk about the party really quick. Um, the timing, keep it short. Everybody's time is valuable. I do three to five days, depending on what it is, how much stuff we got going on. If we have a big skincare brochure, then I usually do five days. If we have a little lighter on the skincare, I'll do a little bit less, and that's just because yeah, skincare is my favorite. So it's really up to you on what kind of content that you plan to carry out with your guests. Um, but three to five days, because you don't want it to drag on too long, because then they'll get bored and they'll forget to get on. If you only set it up for a few days, even with your posting, then they'll remember to show up the day of, you know, if you're doing some sort of event. Um, the game, I do a game. This helps with their interaction a lot. Um, this is kind of a, you lead up to it with all the posts and everything, but the last day of the party, I do a scavenger hunt on the website. I do um, one question from every line that we have, including the opportunity, and I will post up a question with a cute little picture and direct them to the website to go find the answer. Um, now, a little trial and error that I already went through is you can't make it so hard that nobody can find it. Um, my first party, the, the questions were too difficult and people just kind of frapped out because it was, it was really hard. Um, I didn't give enough. <laughs> I didn't give enough. I was making it a serious game, Deb. Um, I didn't give enough clues. Um, so if you're going to do skincare, you need to narrow it down a little bit for them. So don't just say skincare, say a new or clinical, or you can say which eye product or, you know, which moisturizer, and then talk about, you know, what what does this and you know the what i love about our online store is the description of the items on our online store are way better than what's in the brochure so if you go to your online store to pick out your questions you'll see these really great descriptions on there and that's what they're going to be looking for guys so pick out a lot of clues from that description so that it'll be easy for them to spot um, and then I give people points for the first, second, and third answer that are correct. And yeah, they're going to copy each other, but I'm like, hey, you don't know if that first one was right. So that's on you if you don't want to go look and be lazy bone. Um, but, and they can't change their answer either. Once it's posted, if I see that it's edited, you get disqualified for that answer. Um, but so they can earn points. So even if somebody gets it first a couple of times, that doesn't guarantee they're gonna win the whole game. Um, so, and it keeps it fun. And that way more people will still answer and be interacting on the post because they, um, they feel like they still have a chance because they know that they're gonna get some more um, opportunities, you know? And that is a really good way to drive traffic to your site. And it's also a really great way to get people to see 
other products. So somebody might know Avon sells skincare or they sell cosmetics. But, um, you know, I've had people comment they didn't know we had sterling silver jewelry. You know, sometimes people don't know everything that we offer. So if you choose something different in each product line, including the opportunity, and they have to go look on your website to go find it, they're going to look around. And while they're looking around, they're gonna be like, oh, look at there. Oh, my gosh. And oh, my gosh, look at these prices. These are amazing. So um, and then when they stumble across the opportunity question, they're going to see you know, oh my gosh, it's 30 bucks and I get all this stuff. This is cool. And oh, wow, look at all, you know, so you're driving them to see those things while they're having fun and trying to get some free stuff. So same thing with this, um, with the prizes. Again, we don't have anything built in. This all comes out of you. So pick something affordable, but nice that somebody would really actually want to earn. I usually do either um, an eye bundle or a lip bundle as my gift. Um, and when I say a bundle, I mean literally like a lip liner, a lip color, and a glow or a gloss. Um, and if you want the eye, it's going to be a glimmer stick, a single shadow, and a mascara or something like that. Um, and you can do however you want and you can play around with the products, you can offer whatever you want. That's just so you guys have an idea. That's what I do because generally, people like one or the other. Um, I always do my eyes up big, um, and I only do a little bit of color on my lips. Like I'll toss a little gloss on, but I don't usually do both. So I figure they're gonna like one or the other. They'll be, they'll be interested in that, so. There we go. All right, I was like, somebody's phone's ringing in my ear. <clears throat> Hold on one second. There we go. All right. We can unmute y'all after. That way I don't have a phone ringing in there. All right. So this is the super duper important part. Everybody here hopefully has heard the fortune is in the follow up. OK, so you've done the party. You've done all the posts. All that good stuff has gone down. You've done your game. Everybody's had a good time. You may have already gotten some orders. Um, you know, so what you want to do is message all the guests, whether they've ordered or not. So if they ordered, obviously, you're going to be messaging them to say thank you for participating. Um, but you also are going to say, would you like to earn free Avon by hosting your own party? And if they say no, you say, OK, great. Thanks so much. That's it. You don't get sad. You don't get upset. They're not out to get you. They just don't want to host a party. Um, and then orders. So if anybody sent you orders, you're going to process them online. Because again, I said, you're not delivering these. I am not your boss, but I'm telling you right now, don't be delivering Facebook party products, okay? Um, so if they didn't place their orders themselves online, what I'll do is I'll collect the order like it's a regular customer. You're going to have their email and address and all of that good stuff because of the Google form. You're going to either get their card information over the phone or they can PayPal you. Um, or if they feel more comfortable, they can also, um, I have a square, for instance, and I can send an invoice. But most people have no problem reading their credit card over the phone to me. Um, they don't know me, but they know their friend trusts me, so they trust me. Um, so you have all of your payment information, and everything ready to go. Definitely confirm their email address and their phone number. You're going to go set up an account for them um, using their email address if they didn't place their own order. That's, this is not if they place their own order. If you're doing it for them, take their email address. You're going to create a new profile for them. You can set up your own password for them. I use a generic one for everybody. Um, I do not save their payment information to their account. Um, I use that as a one-time thing. If they want to order through me again and I take it online and do all that, I ask them for payment each time. Um, if they PayPal you, then you can pay using your PayPal account on their stuff. You just want to make sure you set it up using their email and their home address because that way you're going to get credit for your double dollars. You'll get credit for Jamaica. You'll also get credit for High Five Online. If you process it through your own online store, so you're the customer, but you're changing the address to their home address, you won't get credit for High Five Online. I know that because I've done that. 
Um, so now I'm setting up their own profile for them and I have a handy dandy notebook that keeps up with all of that stuff. Um, some folks do spreadsheets for that kind of thing. I'm a notebook gal. Again, this is your business. You can keep track however you want. This way though, you're still processing the order and servicing them, but you're not delivering the product. You have your money before you're processing that order. Um, and you can um, help keep track of it because you went in to place the order and you can log back in and see where it is. Um, I do advise them. I'm setting up an account for them and I will send them the dummy password and I'll tell them, you can change this if you like. I didn't save your payments information. If you change it, I will not be able to process orders for you. You will have to do it. So, and so far nobody has changed their password on me um, because they like me doing it for them. But that way they're also getting those emails generated from Avon and they're seeing the products and they're getting the freebie codes and all of that good stuff. Um, and for the high five online, if they did place a $50 order in May, for instance, that email will then get their $10 coupon in June, okay? So that's how you can work around that and still be placing the orders, but you're not gonna deliver it, okay, guys? Um, so you're gonna process all of those, and then you're gonna thank anybody else who did already order online themselves. And then the last thing you're gonna do is follow up with the hostess. You're gonna tally everything up, let her know how much stuff she earned for free, um, you're going to talk to her about the freebies that she wants because again, I offer either like a glimmer stick or a glow. So I'll ask her at that time, which is it that you want? I'm going to pop it in your order that I send you. Um, and I'll help her place that order online because I have to take that discount out for her. Okay. So when I place it on the website for her, on her profile, I have to, you know, I'm basically paying for $15 of it myself right then and there but I'm gonna get all of my earnings back. I don't have to deliver any of it, and I've gotten all these other online orders from all of her friends. And a lot of the parties that I've done, I have recurring customers online for that, okay? So yeah, you're, you're taking a small hit right then and there, but you're gonna get all your earnings back, so don't freak out. Um, and you're gonna hopefully have some residual ordering from all of that, okay? So I know that can get confusing. If anybody ends up doing a Facebook party, when you get to the hostess section of it and you need help, please let me know because I want to make sure you don't short your hostess, but you don't also want to lose anything. So we can talk if we need to. Um, but once you've done it, it's pretty simple. And I think most of it, you might have to go back and watch this one more time, but I think y'all will wrap your head around it. Well, there we go. So, going back through the process, okay? I just dumped a ton of stuff on you guys. So, you find a hostess, you set up an event or a group, you set up some posts, you have your party, and then you do the most important thing, which is your follow-up with everybody, okay? So, who has some questions? Let me unmute you. Feel free to ask away. I've unmuted everybody. Anybody got questions? No? Okay. Chirp, chirp. Chirp, chirp. <laughs> Y'all don't be shy. <laughs> I don't know. I may be calling you because I'm working on setting up a Facebook party with a new person and I want to do it this way. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> I wanted to wait till after we had this meeting before I touched base with her again and told her to get Like me. I said, the most complicated part is when it comes down to the hostess because you essentially have to pay out her discount in your stuff, you know, okay. like wait, like you're gonna have to pay it out. Um, who is in the chat box? It's Miss Rhonda. Oh, oh, that was you with all the noise. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just glad that everybody showed up. Um, 
So we can talk about that. But, um, and again, I'm going to record this and I'll send it back out to everybody. So, you know, it might be a good idea to look back through it a few more times. And we'll on YouTube. Um, you know, you can pause and stuff on sale. And it it's fine. I'm kidding. Does she not know that I'm kidding? <laughs> um, so, you know, you can go back through and look at the different individual slides because some of it's going to make a lot of sense immediately and some of it you might be like, what did she say? Um, so you can go back through this, but then certainly if you have questions, let me know. And especially like even if you collect all the information from your hostess before you hit the button, if you want to call me. Um, just make sure you let me know in advance, like when it's going down so that I can try to make sure I'm available that day. Um, May is really super busy month. Look, I'm about to mute y'all again. Hold on a second. Ah, that is not what I meant to do. There we go. Okay, as y'all want to ask me questions, unmute yourself because I was getting some background noise there and you guys know I can't focus. I got ADD or something. Um, so before you hit the button, just let me know. But May is really crazy because it's the last month of school and we have a ton of stuff going on. Um, Abby's had a lot of appointments. Um, we have, I have a few appointments for myself and my son has a couple. I'm trying to wrap everything up because I didn't, I didn't want to ruin their summer vacation doing dinner, uh, dental stuff and doctor appointments and things like that. So I'm trying to get them done this month. But um, we got, you know, tons of other things happening with the kids and Alan's chorus is going to be singing at the Braves game. My sister and um, I and Alan and the kids are going to go away for Memorial Day weekend. And then the weekend after that, Alan and I are going to Mexico. So I, <laughs> I will need to know if you're going to need my services for something like that. That's not the same as a drop-in call. Um, because I want to make sure that you're doing it right so that everybody's happy, your hostess is happy, and everybody wins. And then you want to have more Facebook parties. So does anybody else have any questions right now? Or is everybody just going to be quiet? <laughs> Leave me hanging over here. Um, you can always ask me questions later. Send me messages. Give me a call. All that good stuff. Like I said, I'm going to record this and send it out for everybody. So if you need to watch it again, you'll have a replay. Um, I have one question. Yeah. If we create a group, when we're done with the group and the group party's over, do we close the group out, like delete the group, or do you leave it open and cash? I've always just left it there? open, but I've never posted. I don't, I don't ever go back and post stuff in there. Um, I do invite people on my groups at the end um, for the parties to like my business page and join my VIP group. Um, so hopefully they've already integrated over there, but I've never closed one out because you have to remove everybody and then remove yourself and it's a pain. So I just leave it there. And I, I went through my groups the other day and I'm still in a ton of groups that were essentially Facebook parties, but they didn't close them either. So, and, but nobody's posted in there forever. So you never see anything happening. So it's kind of out of sight, out of mind. So, but I should have put that in there. Make sure you guys are telling everybody to go visit your VIP groups and your Facebook group pages, because that's how you're going to keep visibility with them too. So shame on me. Um, that's definitely an important post to throw in there um, at the beginning and the end. Um, anybody else have any more questions? Have you actually had a chance to post anything from the social media? Do what do you mean? One of the, yeah, is it easy or is it? From Avon Social? Yeah. It's just like setting, it's just like posting in a group. You have to create your group before you go schedule the post. Um, but you just, it'll connect automatically when you go back in. So then like set up your group on your Facebook page 
don't add anybody to it yet. Just set up the group. But when the next time you go to Avon social, you're going to hit refresh there at the beginning. Like when you first, you know, when you first go in there, you can refresh and then it'll show you all the groups that you have. Um, and then you can post just to that group. You know, every time you use Avon social, you have to choose all the platforms and the groups and stuff. So like I have, the team page and my VIP page and my business page and my Pinterest and my Twitter and everything else is all shown up there, but I only pick and choose. Like I'm not going to post for my customers what I would put in the team page, you know? So you just make sure you're only choosing that party group to set up your post. Um, and obviously you're going to have to go through and pick your own stuff. And like I said, though, you can add, you can upload your own graphics in there. Um, has anybody ever done that here? Well, let me show you really best. Can you share? Where is my... I'm turning off the party thing here, so we're going to go... Oh, I don't want to sign in with Facebook. Can y'all see it? Yep. You can see my homepage? Mm-hmm. Okay. Because I can't see you guys. <laughs> so that's kind of creeping me out. All right. So here you go to Avon Social. Okay. So... You know, normally you can go to like content planner and all this stuff here. Mm -hmm. If you go to post creator, you see how it gives you this box. So you click it. Oh, look, I have some of my party stuff in. So let's say, look, see, final countdown, guys. I'm a little obsessed with that. Um, Okay, so here's the one where it says, like, go to bed with your makeup and it ages you seven times faster. So if you pop that in there, there you go. You've just put your graphic in there and you're going to be like, oh, my God. Did you know all of this? Blah, 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 blah. Okay. And then you can go and you're going to use your scheduler. So. If you have planned out your party and you know what day you want to do this, then you're going to go schedule your post, you know? I mean, how easy is that? But then, but you don't have, but you can upload your own, but then you can still use your content planner and all this stuff for all the other ones too, you know? And, uh, so, I mean, did you see how simple that was? Yeah. I mean, isn't that crazy? And that's why I was saying before, if you make your own graphics, um, it's really simple to pop them in there. So you can kind of do a mix of some of yours because the only thing that I found to be like not really in there, um, you could probably take one of their graphics and make it into a game, but I didn't see anything that I would use for a game. And the games are really important in Facebook parties, um, even though it's a game and it's like a silly fun thing, that helps you get interaction. So you need games. Um, and a lot of the stuff that I do, I, um, you know, it's, I find it on Google and stuff, guys, because you know me, I'm not very good with the technology stuff. So I can't just make up these pretty things, but so many people have already done that. And they put them all over the internet. I see people make flyers on Facebook groups for Avon reps all the time and they share them. If they're sharing them there, that means they're ready, they're, anybody can use them. Just make sure that their link's not on the flyer. Okay? Um, most people who make flyers to share, they don't put their link on there on purpose because they know it would be a pain for you. But, um, but you can Google stuff. And like I said, if you're, if you think you can, Canva is a something, it's free app that you can use to create your own flyers and little pictures and stuff. Um, 
I haven't mastered that app yet, but I mean, it's really nice <laughs> and it's free. So anything that's free, I don't mind playing around with a lot, but um, I just haven't made anything super duper nice yet. But all the other things that I've shared in Facebook parties before, um, I just Googled them and found them. Um, and a couple of things, like I took a picture and then I would type over them using one of my other apps that was super simple where I, I, all I was doing was adding text to the picture. And I did that for my slides um, for the scavenger hunt. So like question one, question two, question three, I add a picture into that post. So um, I have an old, um, it was a faux Facebook party that I added a lot of team members to just so they could see the flow. So if anybody wasn't already in that, it's old and like we already went through it. But if you want to go through and um, poke around in there, just shoot me a message and I'll add you to it so you can see. I set that one up as an event. It wasn't a group, but at that time, events were a big thing and we didn't have Avon Social. So I was using my paid um, service to add those posts in. And the reason you do that is one, so you don't forget. Two, you'll make yourself crazy if you have to post something three times a day. Like I love posting on Facebook, but I just post when the mood strikes me. Um, you know, you need to set up your party posts in advance so you don't forget and you're not stressing about them. And also, if you can't get on your internet for some reason, if you've already got them set up through a service, they'll keep going. And that way, when it comes time for the actual party, or um, scavenger hunt if you're doing like I do then you can follow along and keep the score as you go you don't have to post and then go look and post and then go look um, you're going to be going through it as the posts are happening so you don't have to deal with all that you just have to sit there and tally the scores you've already done the work on the front end so and it also frees up your time to do engagement throughout the party. So as your posts are rolling out and people start talking and chattering and liking and commenting, then you can jump in there and be like, Hey man, what's up? I know. I love that stuff. I live pro is the best. Um, so it makes your life easier. Um, trust me when I say you don't want to have to post as you go, you want to set them all up. And I, I'm so excited that we have Avon social because it's free. <laughs> Y'all know me, I like free things. Um, so, and you can either use theirs or whatever. And you don't have to do a scavenger hunt. So if you just want to do a bunch of Avon social posts, more power to you. Um, keep it simple for yourself. But, um, you know, if anything though, I would say just try. You know, if you don't want to find a hostess, then do one for yourself and have a mystery hostess even if you're doing a launch for yourself, always assign a mystery hostess because then more people are going to interact because they don't know who it's going to be, you know, but you can make rules about that too. If you do a mystery hostess, guess what? If you want to be a mystery hostess, you got to place an order. <laughs> so, um, that will also help drive sales for you. So does anybody have any questions about all of that? Very good. Or crickets. <laughs> well, that's all right. Like I said, we just went through a ton of stuff. So um, I will send out the replay so everybody can watch it again if they want to. Um, and if you have questions, you know where to find me. So that is it.